Hey guys, happy Sunday. It is an absolutely beautiful day and you could be wondering what I'm out here doing. Well guys, I am getting ready to plant some tomato seeds. I have a bunch of them already, but I'm just adding more, just getting everything ready because I know how much I wanna plant this year and how I want the harvest to come through. Now, if it doesn't, some things don't work, that's fine, I've planted enough that I should get a great harvest. So these are the these are one of the tomato seeds that I use, and this is from the family uh, sown. I love their these are the um, the beef steak tomatoes. And so what I've done is I already got my soil and everything ready. So what I'm going to do now is just drop the seeds. Now in this over here, this one over here. I've gotten that, uh, i gotten, sorry. I got that one ready with some more onion bunches. So I just didn't, har I just harvested not too many because they've been growing inside the house. And I looked over it and I said, you know what, Jamel, you need to actually plant some more. And so I dig out some more of my buckets to get some more of them planted so that's what i'm doing right now hopefully you guys are having an amazing day it's pretty windy but it's the sun is out but it is extremely windy so i'm trying to get a lot done today i'm going to tell you about my little adventure at my friend's farm guys it was amazing i had an amazing time and uh, he gave me some fresh eggs. So this will be my first time ever, my first time ever trying uh, fresh laid eggs. And I am so excited. Now, his name is Virgil. He's my, he has adopted me as his goddaughter. He's 83 years old. I got a, a video up on my YouTube channel with uh, him and I, and I'm at his farm. And he's holding my chickens and my actual goat. So I'm getting actual egg layers and I'm getting uh, meat birds. So just one sec, guys. So my friend Virgil is actually holding that for us until we actually get the chicken coop and the the goat housing put up and we're working on it we got so much we're working on and he understands so he just lives five minutes away from us not that far and he is such an amazing friend and i just love him so i'm gonna use the rest of this I got much more soil, but I'm going to still go buy some more. Still going to buy some more. So let me go get some water and water this. And guys, I'll be right back. I want to go put some water in this pot for my tomatoes. And I'll be right back. I'll see you in just a minute. Okay, guys. So I went to go get some water. And I'm getting ready to... Just pour enough in here to get my baby started. This is easy, guys. And it's fun. So, yeah, I, I just, I went to the farm yesterday. I seen all the chickens and I seen all the goats because we actually went there to pick up some manure. So, we got our manure. We're going back to get more, of course. Um, but we did get our manure. And it was such a beautiful time with him and enjoying his company and all of that good stuff. Here's the tomatoes here. And now I believe I have to replant my cabbage. I got some cabbage growing out here. Um, so we had such a great, great time uh, with him. And so I can't appreciate him adopting me and... Um, spending a lot of time with me teaching me the ropes uh my husband and i 
it's amazing guys when you meet people that don't want anything from you they just want to teach you and you can't find that too often but it's out there and when you have uh, received that type of love you hold on to it because it doesn't come around too often so guys I want to let you go and I hopefully and I hope sorry my tongue is tied I've been up you know I'm kind of tired um, I'm hoping that you're having an absolutely blessed day, absolutely wonderful day, loving yourself, loving your family, and taking care and loving your animals. But before I let you go, you got to stay amazing. <laughs>